Within these three cases that I'm standing besides, these represent uh, recent acquisitions to the Wheelwright Museum's permanent jewelry collection. Many pieces that have been donated are significant to our permanent collection. And these also represent that we are still collecting, we're still seeking great pieces for the collection, and we are still moving forward. In some of the cases, you'll see jewelry by noted artists such as Paul Sofke from Hopi. The bracelet and ring set that we have represent his stonework, but also early Hopi overlay. Uh, very rare examples that we were uh, generously gifted, as well as bracelets by Fred and Frank Peshlakai brothers, uh, different techniques for both of them. As we move along, you also see uh, pieces by Charles Lolima, uh, some great rings, as well as a beautiful bow tie. Richard Chavez from San Felipe, Isaiah Ortiz from San Felipe, and Son Wai from Hopi. We also have been generously donated to beautiful masterpiece bracelets by Raymond Yazi, who's Navajo and the famous Yazi family. They were included in the exhibition Glittering Worlds at the Smithsonian Institute and in the book. He's also been here to see them and he was very excited to know that his collector did give them to us. Other really exciting pieces include four belts that are shown. Uh, two are by McKee Platero, who's Navajo. One employs the use of coral and matched coral, which is very hard to come by. And seeing this much in one belt is like fantastic. The other belt, which each concho is different, and that came from a private collector, both of them did actually, through the dealer Teal McKibben, who was kind of McKee's promoter in the 80s and 90s. I guess he would take her one concho each time, so it was years of, of work. We are also uh, very excited to have two new, new belts in the collection by Gail Bird and Yazi Johnson. They show different themes, different stones and thematics throughout the belts themselves, so that's really exciting. As well as a beautiful bracelet by Michael Cabote. And his work tends to be rare on the secondary market and you don't see much available. So having several pieces in his collection now, we are very fortunate for that as well. So these three cases, again, show the importance that we as the jewelry collection here, Center of Southwest Jewelry at the Wilwright, we are still promoting new things. We hand selected these pieces to show the diversity, the masterpieces, and a whole overall group of new things that have come in. Another interesting piece you'll see is uh, Liz Wallace's belly dance set. And that was years in the making. So we ask that you come and view these beautiful pieces as well as all the others in the collection and enjoy seeing them as much as we are thrilled and um, fortunate to have them. Thank you.